All right, <clears throat> and welcome to this video, which is gonna be about um, uh, an icon I made for uh, our Blender user group here in Stockholm. So it's gonna be a pretty short video uh, of the problems I encountered and how I solved them. So all I don't know what I'm gonna call this video series, but I'm gonna make um, I'm gonna pre-record them uh, whenever I work on a project and. Um, so it's not going to be from A to B, but uh, it's going to be probably be how I, what kind of problems I encounter and how I solve them. So they're going to be pretty short. Um, so let's jump into Blender. And uh, this is the reference image images I had, because I had this idea for a long time to make these kind of icons in Blender and render them with cycles. So. Um, they're kind of photorealistic, but uh, still stylized. Like this one is, you could probably easily render in cycles. And um, one thing you can notice is that uh, they all have this like nice border radius and uh, a camera angle, which makes uh, make it looks like you get a, a bit of uh, depth or thickness to the icon. So I'm gonna show you what I did today. So this is the icon I worked on for our Blender user group here in Stockholm. So I have some reference images over here. Like this is an iconic uh, building in Stockholm, Globen. And it's uh, kind of white so it kind of fits into the Blender icon. And then we have some houses in the old city and, uh, and this Riksdagshuset which is also kind of icon iconic. And uh, we have this blue metro subway trains. Um, uh, which I wanted to use because uh, then I get this like blender blue. So if we jump out, uh, you can see here is here is the actual camera view what this sees. So uh, what you can see here is that the border radius radii are not uh, correct. So they're too small up here and uh, a bit too like wide or big down here. So. But what we get is this uh, thickness and uh, the perspective I want. And uh, I'm gonna share a template file on uh, GitHub on my GitHub. So there's gonna be a downloadable link in the description below this video. And uh, you're gonna get some stuff for free, which uh, I took the, all the RGB values from the Blender logo and made them group, so you can just add them wherever you want to. And I'm using the principal shader just to shade these guys, but uh, if you do something more complex, you can do, uh, do your own shading system, node tree for your materials. But these is, are going to follow in the template scene. And um, now I'm going to show you how I solve the border radius problems. I have a second render layer called border radius, which is just this orthographic camera that's looking down on this cube which has a bevel modifier on it so you can change the number of segments the more you have the smoother the border uh, radio is going to be you can also change the width of it, the border so let's jump back to the first render layer where my icon is um, so with that said I can also show you just the, the lighting setup if I turn this to rendered. So I'm using HDRI image for the lighting, which I downloaded from hdriheaven.com. So that's Greg Salt's site and he shares a lot of HDRI images. So I'm gonna put that in the description below also, a link to his site. I'm not gonna share this uh, HDRI image I'm using because I don't know if it's okay, so you can just go to the site and download whatever one you want. But um, it's uh, pretty nice, you can quickly change the look and the feel of the image by just rotating the HDRI image. And uh, worth mentioning is that uh, I'm also using denoising, so we can render this, uh, render this out and you can see what, what's happening. So, what? Well, Blender now okay so I'm rendering out so it start with the first scene it's gonna take a while and then it's gonna denoise and 
there we go. And now it quickly rendered the second layer. And uh, you can see that now we have this perfect border radius. And I'm going to show you how I solve that. So in the layer compos uh, the compositing nodes, uh, I'm rendering rendering the first layer with weird border radius, and uh, then it's rendered the second render layer with that cube that had this perfect border radius. And then I'm just using a set alpha node to I'm using this uh, this alpha on this image, and uh, I'm also using a RGB curve just to get a bit more red and uh, a warmer tone and also less uh, dark shadows so and the result is this image and as you can see these border radius are perfect we get this thickness and the camera perspective which I want so yeah uh, that was everything uh, I wanted to show you with this video and um, you can download uh, the icon template yourself if you, it was if it was hard to follow and you can just look at it and um, it can help you save time if, especially if you want to make one of these um, uh, blender user group icons for your city you get a lot of stuff for free and can get up and running quickly so I'm gonna probably do more of these videos as I see fit when I work on projects they're gonna be pretty short and mostly focus on how I solve some issues. Uh, I also do some pixel art um, stuff with Blender, pixel art animation. So I'm probably gonna do a video about that. Uh, I don't know when, but in the future. So yeah, that was everything I wanted to show. Um, good night, have a nice evening and happy blending.